Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about LXC containers. So LXC containers are basically Linux based virtual machines um, like the next generation I would say uh, better than KVM and um, the virtual box stuff. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have LXC installed. So I'm using a Ubuntu 14.04 here machine. You want to do sudo apt-get install LXC. I actually already have it on this box. So the next command you want to know is LXC create the name. So we're going to do myserver01-t Ubuntu. And it's a super easy command. Create the server, your name that you want it, the type Ubuntu. Now this will take a little bit to download if you're doing it for the first time. You'll see it goes pretty fast on this machine because I actually already downloaded um, the uh, Ubuntu image here. So to see all your LXC containers, you just do LXC LS. And you can actually see I have a couple other ones on this machine, but this is the one I just created here, my server 01. Now I'm actually going to switch over to Linux Mint and show you these commands a little bit on this machine because uh, this machine is a little bit faster and it has an SSD. So, but most of these will be uh, similar concepts across machines. So the first thing I did was sudo apt-get install LXC. Now I need to create a Ubuntu LXC con container. And you can see this one is significantly different parameters because of um, Linux Mint. So we're going to still call it my server 01 and I'll put this giant command in the description of the video so you can just copy paste it and this will do it'll actually go out and get the um, packages and stuff. Uh, since I ran this a couple times already, it's going to go a lot faster on this machine. And you can see here, uh, it says use LXC attach. So the first thing we want to do is LXC start minus N, my server 01. And you actually want to do minus D at the end. Minus D means run in daemon mode, which means give me back to the prompt. Uh, start this in the background. So you'll hit enter and it looks like nothing happened here. But actually now the server is running. So let's do attach minus n my server 01. And just like that you are root in this server. In this virtual machine. So the first thing you want to do is change the password of Ubuntu. So you don't actually have to remember that minus d on the lxc create command every time or on the LXC start. So now when you start up the server uh, and it shows you the login, you can actually log in. Okay, so let's actually show you some other LXC commands. So let's go back here and go over to root. Let's stop the, uh, the machine. So the, it's pretty easy. LXC stop my server 01 and now it's stopped. And you can see Sorry. Started in the background, so I wasn't actually in the server. Is the attach still gone? Yeah, the attach kicked me out. Because I don't see it here. Okay, so I'm going to close some of these tabs out. So now let's clone this thing. LXE clone. My server. 01. My server 02. So even though all I did on the server was create it now, I have an exact copy of it in about two seconds. So now we can actually do LXC start minus N, my server 02. I don't need minus D now because I actually set the password already. So I cloned it with the password set. So now Ubuntu will actually be set on this machine. Uh, this is only for Linux Mint. This is a little bit different. On Ubuntu, it will always be set the way they have their images. So now I'm in this server. And I can switch to root. Okay. 
So the next thing I want to show you a little bit is on the file system on how LXC containers are just stored there. Um, with the KVM and the virtual box, you just have a giant image in the middle of the file system. Uh, you can't actually see the files that are in the virtual machines. LXC can containers, you can. Var lib LXC shows you all the servers that I created. So here's the two. Here's the one I created. Here's the one I cloned. So let's go into this directory and then you go into this root. Don't worry about this config file yet. Um, I'll actually show you a, a something later on and how it something that automatically edits that. Let's go in here. Let's go into the root folder. And let's do vi Hello. I'm going to write out that file. And I just make sure you're in the right directory. var lib lxe my server 2 root fs root. Lots of times I've done this where I've switched to back to the root file system of the other machine, of the this local machine. So now if I go back to this server and I go to the root here, you'll see this file. Dan Scheffner. Hello. Okay, so what else can I show you for the LXC containers? So there's quite a few commands here. I showed you attach, I showed you clone, and create. The last one I'll probably just show you is destroy. Um, the rest of these, you can do LXC info too. I'll tell you some stuff about the server. Um, tells you it stopped. Pretty uh, useless. There might be more to that command. Um, so yeah, some of these I don't actually use that much. So let's actually stop my server 02. Say we don't need it anymore. Just like that, it's gone. So be careful. LXE destroy my server 02 is gone. Now, it's a little weird here because this, right now, this um, shell is in this directory, right? This actually doesn't exist anymore. So if I do an ls here, you're going to get an error. Oh, maybe not. Oh, see, I tried to do cd dot dot, and it finally gave me a weird error retrieving current directory cannot parent directory such. So just get, make sure you get out of this directory before you do anything else. Forewarning when, because now it it was gone. Um, see, no, my server O2. So that's how destroy works. It'll actually delete. Now you're probably wondering how big these servers are if you want. Let's take a look real quick at that. 380 megs per server, which is actually nice and small. Um, I like that they've kept this number down. So the last thing I want to show you is a new web interface that I found. And just Google uh, LXE web panel. I'll put a link to their site actually in the uh, show notes. And you basically get a let me refresh this and log out once you install it you'll get this page and it's like localhost 5000 user man admin admin and this is a basically a web front end written in python to manage your LXE container. So if you don't like command line stuff, a lot of the stuff is here for you already. Um, I do recommend at least creating one server and then you can just come up here and clone it. So say this is our server. Remember we just created my server 01. Let's do my server 02. Hit clone. So you can do this all through the interface now. Let's uh, I'll move this window over here. So let's start this. Move this back over here. Just 
just like that, you're in your new server. So if you don't like to use the um, the command line, you can use the uh, web interface here. The other thing that's nice about it is it gives you some nice mem usage stuff. Um, I don't use this freeze much. Uh, it like freezes the file system. If you had something running, I guess you could freeze it and try to continue it on later on. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend just having them stopped or running uh, are the two states I use all the time. So if you click in here, you can actually, this is modifying that config file here on the file system. So uh, if you go to etc uh, var lib lxc my server 2 this config file is being modified by this right here. So this is actually nice and you can set limits here like if you have a CPU limit for someone they can only get two CPUs do 0-1. Uh, they only get a couple megs they get a say they get one gig of RAM there you go. So this is actually really nice. I don't actually have to set this for many people though. Uh, the services that we run are uh, almost idle most of the time. So and you can do start up and boot. You get some information on what's going on over here. It's actually really nice. I hope this uh, this LXE web panel does well because uh, it's it works very well for this uh, just management. And some people aren't command line people, uh, but as you can see, I use the command line more and more. All right. Well, that's how to use LXE containers. Um, if you have any questions or ideas about what you want to see in the next video. I'll show you actually how to make a Ubuntu mirror uh, on your local network in, in the next video. And that one's a little bit longer, but I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and please subscribe.